Hello guys, here's Jimek with another episode of our Blender for Motion Design series. Uh, this time it's going to be really simple. We're going to animate between two textures within a single material. I've been promising this for a long time because it's very useful. It's very easy, but uh, we need to learn how to do it. So let's get going. So the last time we animated the sidebar, uh, going out of the view using uh, clip ma clipping masks, well, rather the Boolean operations. Before that, we learned how to animate basic transformations, scale, rotation, and position. And this time, we're going to focus on a very minor thing, but uh, it's I use it all the time, and that is animating uh, texture uh, transitions so you have one material one plane in here and you have multiple uh, textures assigned and you blend between them um, uh, to better illustrate this I've prepared uh, a smaller project that we're going to be uh, learning this on so let me just show you here so we have just these two icons that uh, dissolve between two states and that is one plane uh, that just um, changes between two active textures. So we're going to be animating the color as well as the transparency. So let's, let's take a look how that's done. Uh, so I'm going to start fresh. You can do that by uh, pressing Ctrl N as a new project and we're gonna uh, first of all we're gonna set the um, the properties of the project so because I'm recording at 720p let's just do the same thing for this project so it's 1280 by 720p and we're gonna have some nice gray background like that that I think is just fine uh, to speed things up, we're not going to be anti-aliasing and we don't need any of that. So if I render, uh, we don't have a camera. So I'm going to, uh, I did, uh, was it shift A? Yeah, shift A and add a camera. It doesn't have any rotation or anything. So this is the view and if I render it, it's slightly darker. Maybe if I do this, it's going to actually... Yeah, um, so now we can just load up the texture and I do that by using our favorite uh, file, what is it, import images as planes, prepared this in my movies folder, blender, assets, texture, animation. So the first state will be the blender icon and where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, so it's slightly. Let me just do uh, the side view and move this camera slightly above. I do uh, G for grab and ZZ, which is um, uh, moving it alongside the local Z axis as we've learned before. Okay, so we're set up. So we have one object, it's not actually centered. And if I render this, nothing happens because I'm a doofus and I didn't preset all the required things in the import thing, so we can just fix it in the materials. So that's uh, actually this one, uh, this is bold. So this is the this thing, okay, um, there we go, that should be it. So what I forgot to do is that we want this to affect color, yes, but the material we want to be flashless, that's the one, and the texture applies to color and alpha and we're gonna clip it 
and that is probably all we need to set um, image sampling use alpha uh, why is it so broken uh, because we didn't pre-multiply okay that should be it now if I render this it still doesn't work because the material needs to be transparent okay so I've done all this work that I didn't have to do if I checked the appropriate checkboxes in this thing which are here I always forget to check these and then we're end up with fixing it ourselves so but all is good now um, we're ready but we only have one texture so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another one images images and open the other one which is the Inkscape texture and do pretty much the same thing pretty multiply we're gonna clip it as we did last time and we're gonna apply so if I render now it's actually going to use both textures so you can see that um, well it's kind of clashing with the alpha but um, it's actually applying both which is not exactly what we want because it's mixing the alpha channel and it's mixing the color channels as well uh, if I unselect this everything's gonna be fine like that but what we want is we we want to animate between the two states and for that I'm going to use animate these two properties so in blender uh, the color is not actually a single um, property you see that alpha is decidedly uh, taken apart because what you might want to do in a material is to sort of have a texture that only affects an alpha channel so you're creating like these stencils and that sort of thing so it does make sense for blender to to have them separate but we're actually going to animate them together because we don't really want to if we're blending one state uh, one texture away we want to at the same time uh, you know, tone down the color as well as uh, as well as the transparency otherwise uh, the color of the material or the color from the other texture would be applied to to the shape of of you know this texture it's just it's it's not what we want so what we want is animate these together but you always when things go fishy always check that you're animating these two together so we're gonna do a really simple uh, just two state change so we're gonna start changing at at frame 25 we're gonna take a second to to uh, to change to the new state and then keep the state for another second so we're gonna do a three second animation at 25 frames so we're gonna do uh, 75 okay like that so we go to frame 25 and we're going to keyframe the the state we want and that is the blender texture showing and the Inkscape texture being hidden the great thing about animating anything in blender is that all you need to do uh, actually this is zero uh, all you need to do is to press I to insert a keyframe anywhere so what I did is I keyframed the uh, zero color and zero transparency of this texture of the um, inks, I'm gonna call it Inkscape. This will be Blender. And at the same time, I'm going to insert a keyframe for the color and alpha 
of the blender and that happenings uh, happens on frame 25 and then on frame 50 which is a second later I'm gonna flip that so I'm going to make this transparent so that's zero zero I press tab to uh, go to another uh, entry uh, box just like in GTK and I push I and I and then I go to Inkscape and then I push I mean I first set it to oh, come on one one insert and insert and so if I look at the dope sheet you can see that there is uh, the color and alpha of a texture being animated it doesn't really tell me which uh, texture channel it is I have to look at the uh, the property but uh, other than that it should be working the problem is that you don't really see it in the 3d view that's the biggest gripe I really wish um, in, I mean blender did preview this but it sadly doesn't so what you need to do is you need to render um, a frame to see what's happening so if we do this you can see that it's transitioning the the two states so if I want to render this as an animation actually the uh, where is it I'm going to select that and I'm going to select if you don't render with uh, FFmpeg which half of the time doesn't work so um, you only get uh, two options it's actually better to even animation to render it into individual frames to PNG and then use some other tool to assemble the animation because you can be you know tweaking a part of the animation and uh, you don't have to re-render the whole project but for the sake of being quick here I'm just gonna do uh, the JPEG AVI and I'm going to render this to render tutorial AVI and I'm going to render this All right, it takes a while usually it's also for simple projects like this without anti-aliasing it's good to lower the amount of tiles that you have but uh, what was it uh, da -da -da, layers dimensions somewhere here da -da -da, tiles aspect ratio performance yeah so lower these and it's gonna render actually faster than this but we're almost done um, so that's actually it for for texture animation uh, next time we are going to look at uh, the slightly more sophisticated part of the last animation and that is the spinner so look out for that and uh, I'll see you later